Welcome back. I'm Brad Radisi, and it's time for our Bulldog Conversation. I'm joined by Dr. Betsy Dobbins, who is now a member of the SOCON All-Faculty Team. The first time they've ever done it. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell me about the feelings of when you got word that you were indeed on the All-Faculty Team in the SOCON. I was really honored. It's a real honor to support student athletes in the NC2A. And I want to describe how they describe this all-faculty team. I'm going to read it here word for word so I don't get it wrong. It's a team that recognizes a faculty member at each school with demonstrated service to the institution, a proven record of high achievement among students, as well as research and academic writing projects, and contributions to campus life and the local community. Knowing that you're on this team and hearing that description, how does that make you feel? Humble. Uh -huh. um, I, I think it's a real honor, um, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that it's an honor that could have been given to many other faculty members here at Sanford. We have a very strong faculty. And you're part of that strong faculty. You've been here since 1996 teaching biology. Correct. Just tell me a little bit about your time here at Sanford. I have really enjoyed my time here at Sanford. We have very strong students. Uh, I came from a research-based institution and I love the collegiality here, the mm -hmm. fact that I have friends and colleagues across schools and both academic and in the non-academic uh, side of the house. Tell me about a Sanford student. You were showing me about, you were showing me some of the samples you guys have gone out and taken. Just tell me about how they dive headfirst into stuff like this. Um, I've had some really extraordinary students. This, um, two summers ago, one of our students, Paige Vandiverst, um, started a new project looking at Oak Mountain. So Oak Mountain is a large recreation facility mm -hmm. near here and we know a whole lot about sediment which is dirt and how it impacts um, creeks. It, it does terrible things to creeks and the life in it but we really didn't know a whole lot about what hiking trails and biking trails did and so she spent a whole summer you know hiking around, mm -hmm. collecting samples, dodging snakes, mm -hmm. and then uh, hours in the lab here right. identifying things so that she could figure out the impacts. How important is it having students that do this kind of research and maybe will do it as a career? Uh, it's, it's huge because water is one of the big um, issues that's facing us. With climate change, we're going to have more and more impacts of water. And Alabama is an incredibly water-rich state. But a lot of people aren't aware of the problems that we have, and they're also not aware of this incredible resource. So mm -hmm. having students become aware of that is great. And at Samford, one of the things that we have going is our students are our colleagues. Um, mm -hmm. They don't wash the dishes. I wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> they actually work with me on mm -hmm. projects. And we're in a lab right here where a lot of this work takes place. And That's you, correct. you touched on it a little bit, but just, just tell me what, what happens in this lab, what, what you're working on. So what happens in this lab is we use um, small bottom-dwelling insects called macroinvertebrates to kind of figure out the water quality. So just like when you, if you were driving through a neighborhood and you saw bad cars or trash, you would think, not a great neighborhood. Right. If, depending upon the types of insects and invertebrates you find, you know a lot about the stream. So if they're ones that are very pollution tolerant, you know that that is a stream that's been impacted. And if they're ones that are sensitive and need a lot of oxygen, like mayflies and stoneflies, you know that that is a good quality stream. So that's what we do in this lab. We study that. It's amazing stuff. And I have to close with the question of, why do you teach? What do you I, love so much about it? <laughs> I love, um, I love teaching, I love being able to learn new things, and I love watching students um, kind of grow into the people that they're becoming. Good stuff. Congratulations again. Thank you. Being named to the All SoCon faculty team. Folks, that's it for the Bulldog Conversation.